All right, the Wonder Woman 1984 or 85, whatever the hell it is. I'll put the right one in there. Um, 4K Steelbook. Review. First of all, I told everybody that the Steelbook was halfway decent at best. Um, I really wasn't too impressed with it. Um, the coloring was pretty cool, but you couldn't really, f you know, you put your hand on the cover. The lettering doesn't raise up a little. Doesn't. It's not much to it. Um, but I put the 4K in, and it made it look its usual 4K quality. Um, the screen usually dims a little when you watch a 4K movie, but nothing magnificent. I actually preferred to watch this TV, not this TV, this movie in 3D over the 4K version. Now, many people are going to disagree with me on that one, but I thought this movie didn't have a ton of pop-outs, but I think the 3D looked a lot better. That's just my overall opinion. That end scene, that smoke, the end when they change the aspect ratio, was something. And the special features, just the right amount, not too much or too little. When you have too many special features, that means somebody just wants to throw a bunch of stuff in there to make it look like you're getting a good deal. And then if you have too little, forget it. The gag reel was great. It was over six minutes long. Um, usually when you watch gag reels of shows and stuff, whether it's a TV show or a movie, you get a couple of minutes at best, two or three, and then they cancel you out. This movie had about six minutes and 30-something seconds, I think, or whatever it was. And you know what? That is a plus. A plus for the gag reel. And then there was other stuff um, that explained all different things in, in the franchise. Um, well, we'll just have to wait till there's another Wonder Woman movie. I'm sure there will be. Um, even though this movie was probably a dud. A lot of people call it a dud. I call it half a dud. Um, I have to say that they're probably going to make another one and it'll be much better. What I do like about this movie is, is when there was special effects being used, most of the time it didn't look fake, unlike the first Wonder Woman movie which tended to do that. And I have the first Wonder Woman movie too, so I would know. All right, bye-bye.